up everyone, I'm back with a time lapse and in this video I'm working on this painting of two crossbreed dogs. The first one that I'm working on now is a German Shepherd cross called Shale and then later on in the video I'll be moving on to the other dog which was a terrier cross called Diesel. For this piece I'm using acrylic on Fabriano Artist Deco hot press at £300 weight which is the thicker one which suits wet media a lot more than the thinner versions. If there's any kind of tutorial that you want me to do using this painting then let me know in comments and I'll see about doing that at some point in future. Meanwhile I just wanted to talk about a few things regarding the growth of this channel and the direction that I want to move in as an artist. As it stands at the moment I rely purely on commissioned portraits in order to make a living so this channel doesn't make me anything and I want to get to a point where the channel does actually start making me something and then moving on and further into like art tuition online and move away from commissions a little bit so I also get to do more work that I want to work on rather than just working you know on other people's pets doing what they want me to do but obviously at the moment I'm quite limited because I'm having to spend my time doing the stuff that's paying me and paying me bills and keeping me going for the time being and I can't put as much time into growing the channel whilst it's not giving me anything back which is where you guys come in since I've had a few people asking me if I have a Patreon which is certainly something that I've considered for in future I wanted to ask you guys what you'd like to see if I did start a Patreon. I mean, obviously, when people sign up to a Patreon, they're wanting some extra compared to what is on your YouTube channel for everybody to see. But I also see some YouTubers where they ask people to just be a, a patron in order to support the YouTube channel so that they can keep creating content for everybody. And I wondered whether I, that might be an idea for me to do that in the beginning and then when I can finally get this channel monetized and it st I start getting a little bit back from it, then maybe start moving to a different system on Patreon where the Patreon, you know, the patrons start getting extra perks compared to everybody else, you know, for subscribing to my Patreon. At the moment, I'm just mulling over ideas, so, I, you know, any feedback from you guys be really appreciated because it, I'm all new to this, so... It's just a little bit overwhelming trying to think of all these different ideas and the more that you can get from everybody else, the better. I mean, I've got to change something because the commissions can be a little bit up and down. I mean, one minute you've got everybody clambering over each other to try and get commissions from you and then next minute it's like a desert scene with a tumbleweed like rolling past and them times can be a little bit concerning and worrying and I shouldn't let it worry me and concern me so much I should just maybe do some work of my own during them times but saying that I never usually manage to get to end of my waiting list of sketches before surger requests start coming in but I really would like to not have to rely so much on commissions and start being able to do my own thing again you know after watching other YouTube channels and being inspired by other artists that are sketching and painting and just all these different things and I think you know I'd like to do something different for a change you know just start messing around a little bit more and experimenting more with more subjects I mean vast majority of my commissions are dogs because that's practically what what everybody wants me to do I, it's I struggle to get anything else you know I'd, I'd love to be able to do more horses and and more cats and even some like wildlife but it's like you, you just don't get them requests in commissions so I'm just doing dogs all the time and it's quite often the same kind of dogs as well that I'm doing. I mean, a lot of my dogs that I get are collies. I mean, I'm a collie owner, so this is to be expected. I know a lot of collie people, so I get a lot of collie requests. And spaniels are another one I get a lot of requests on. But I'd just like to do something different for a change, you know, something else. And in order to do that, really, I need to move away from commissions and start making my money in a, a different way. And online tuition is probably the way to go. And probably still do some commissions, but just limit them a little bit more and give myself more time to do what I want to do. And then start drawing and painting things that are a bit different that I can use as tutorials. Because I get people asking, you know, you know, can you do a cat or can you do this or that and other. And it's like, at the minute, I'm having to just rely on commissions in order to do these tutorials on YouTube. 
because these commissions are what are making me money and the YouTube is making me none. <laughs> so it's, it's got to be that way at minute and I would really like to change that. I mean, I've got enough subscribers now, but my watch hours on my YouTube really need to increase. I need to get a lot more content on and I've got to st currently rely on commissions in order to get more content on to, to YouTube. And then the other limitations I have, are the you know, the filming of the work and what have you, the actual creating of content, things that I have available to me like uh, cameras and stuff like that. Some people have asked for me to put a camera on my palette when I'm painting and there's a couple of problems with that. Firstly, the area that I'm painting in is really small and I've got very little room. I struggle to have even one camera set on a tripod really precariously right next to my chair which backs up against a wall and there's really nowhere else to have another one pointing down at my palette and another problem is that I'm, I've got a palette that you actually hold in your hand and there'd be no way to have a palette at the side or anything. It's, it's got to be, I've got to have it in my hand so it's moving. When I'm moving that's moving. So if anybody's got any little ideas as to how I can possibly get around that and then there's the, the problem that I'd have to actually afford to get another camera to point at the palette as well. So I've got to have one at cameras on my painting for sure you've got to be able to see it painting. So it's it's having some at pointing at palette. And there's also no power points in the corner I'm working in, so I'd have to start using like extension cables, you know, just to plug things into, you know, from other parts of the room and things like that. It's just a really awkward situation that I'm working in at the minute. I'm just trying to do my best. And when people mention things like that and, and I say that I can't, you know, really do it, it's, it's not that I've not thought of it and that I don't want to do it. It's, it's just that I'm really limited at the minute as to what I can actually do. So all this aside, I'd just really like to thank everybody that's subscribed to my channel since I reignited it last spring. I mean, I've had this channel, like, years, and I didn't used to treat it as a channel. It was just somewhere to stick video clips and what have you, where, I, you know, I wanted to be able to show them to people and have somewhere where they could view them. And since Facebook made it easy to upload videos to Facebook platform, I just never used this channel anymore so it were about this time last year I decided that I would start an art channel on it and I just got rid of a, a load of the old content you know a lot of it had copyright claims and things like that because I up uploaded it at a time when you didn't have to worry about that stuff so much but it were about this time last year when I considered doing an art channel and then it were about it were towards end of March I think when I uploaded my first video and it took a little while for things to get going. I started getting a steady trickle of subscribers from the beginning and then things just started to speed up a little bit as autumn came and, and through winter. But I really appreciate the people that's come along and subscribed and also the people that regularly engage with my content, in making comments, things like that, asking questions making suggestions it's all really appreciated so just wanted to say thanks for all of that and i just hope that i can continue making this channel useful for you guys and even better as time goes on and i'm able to start making improvements and what have you so now you can see that i'm working on diesel and the paints that i've been using for this have been primarily windsor and newton acrylics either gallery or the professional and I do have uh, Liquitex in black as well. Paint brushes are as usual, it don't really matter. Anything that handles acrylics, watercolours, I'll just use it. You'll see quite a few brushes I'm using a Windsor and Newton as well. I'm now starting to come to end of my waiting list for painting commissions. People have just not been ordering them. It's mostly been the charcoal drawings that people have been ordering because they are a lot cheaper but the videos about charcoal drawings don't really seem to do as well on here. So if I do run out of paintings, I'm working on one now and then I'm basically done for, you know, commissioned paintings. And then it might mean that I will just paint something else just for myself and then I'll be able to do something a bit different for this channel as well. Obviously I'll not be getting paid for that. I'll just have to try and make my money on the charcoal drawings for the time being unless somebody else decides to order a painting at any point.
I would like to do a portrait of my youngest dog, Wisp, who some of you might have seen at the beginning of one of the pug tutorials. She made a little bit of an introduction there. I've done portraits of me at all the two dogs, but I've never had a chance to do one of her, so I might end up doing one. I know it's another dog like, but well, you know, it's my own dog, so. <laughs> and I don't know when I'll have a chance to do a portrait of her in future, so I may as well make a chance of it whilst I can. Plus she's really photogenic and she'd make an absolutely spectacular painting. But I might be biased, but she is really, really easy on eye. And I think this painting's pretty much done now, so I'll get a few nice closer views of it all completed and everything. And if you like what you see, this is the first time you've been to one of my videos and you have managed to get this far through it. If you want to see more of this stuff then please consider subscribing and like this video and what have you as it really helps get this video out there and get my channel out there and get more attention and what have you so that I can grow it and improve it for everybody. And I think that's going to be it for me now so I'm going to go off and get some dinner. So I shall see you in my next video. Bye!